Welcome to Life Extension's Ingredient Spotlight. I'm Dr. Michael Smith, the Director of Education, and today we're going to talk about superoxide dismutase, fighting cellular oxidative stress. Uh, superoxide dismutase, or SOD, um, is a crucial primary defense against cellular damage. It's an important antioxidant for overall cellular health. It, it, and it does that basically by protecting the cell from dangerous free radicals. Um, high levels of these oxidative free radicals, these, these highly reactive oxygen compounds can result from a poor diet, poor sleep habits, excessive alcohol, um, and, and of course, smoking. So how does superoxide dismutase really work? Well, oxygen, if you start at the top of the slide here, oxygen comes into the system um, and it's known as a superoxide. This is, this is the free radical uh, that's causing all this cellular damage. Superoxide dismutase is able to turn that superoxide free radical into hydrogen peroxide. It is now neutralized. Um, then through a couple of other um, enzymes, a peroxidase and a catalase, you end up getting water and oxygen back. So um, superoxide dismutase is really at the center of neutralizing the superoxide free radical, which is quite, quite damaging. Overall, SOD levels decline as we age. Um, those that are aged over, say, 40 have lower SOD than, say, um, or SOD than other ages. Um, uh, it's even more so um, when you compare, like, smokers to non-smokers, alcohol drinkers to non-alcohol drinkers, uh, the, the reduction in SOD or SOD, you can say either way, is, is going to be much more lower in those that smoke and, and drink alcohol. And of course, we say alcohol, it's excessive alcohol, right? There is a certain limit of alcohol every day that can be healthy. Um, but basically, over time, without a good level of SOD, our cells begin to um, become really damaged from the superoxide free radical. So we have first aronia. Aronia is also known as chokeberries. It's rich in anthocyanins. Um, it has been shown um, to increase levels of SOD and glutathione peroxidase. And it also activates something called NRF2, which is a protein that regulates expression of antioxidant enzymes. This was an open label study, 25 patients with metabolic syndrome versus 22 healthy um, um, controls. They were given 100 milligrams of erroneous um, or erronea extract standardized to 40% polyphenols three times a day. The duration was for two months, and the measured outcome was looking at levels of SOD and glutathione. What we found, um, and, and the real mark here is at the two-month period, that both SOD increased significantly versus healthy controls. Um, really impressive was the glutathione peroxidase, which plays a part in, in getting the superoxide um, uh, free radical down to water and, and oxygen again, that had a nice significant bump as well. We're combining this with a, a cantaloupe um, melon pulp concentrate. This is naturally rich in SOD. Um, it raises SOD levels, but it also can provide some SOD as well, protects against cellular um, stress and, and, and cellular aging. Um, and, and, and of course, with cellular stress, right, that can result in less, um, less physical, um, as you increase SOD and decrease the cellular stress, that can have an impact on less perceived stress and less physical and mental fatigue. This is a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial, 61 healthy people, uh, 10 milligrams of this sod melon concentrate. Um, or a placebo for 84 days. They looked at perceived uh, stress, quality of life, physical fatigue, mental fatigue. Overall, 7% reduction in perceived stress, um, almost a 21% reduction in mental fatigue, uh, and about a 9.5% reduction in um, what we call subjective physical fatigue. So this is all compared 
to placebo group on 84 days. So you can see providing SOD, providing an ability to decrease the superoxide free radical is quite powerful. I'm Dr. Mike. I want to thank you for listening. Take care.